Welcome to Two Poor Artists, where we're poor at not dragging on, but mostly we're poor at making art. I'm Benj. And I'm Isaac. And today we are drawing something a little bit different. We're going to be drawing the title of a movie we just saw uh, called Raya and the Last Dragon. We've added an additional rule to today, though. Not only do we have to use a ballpoint pen and we can't erase, we also can't have our drawing try to look like the actual movie. So we are going to draw the title, but it's not going to be familiar if you just saw the movie like we did. But uh, I'm going to jump right in here with uh, my interpretation of Riot and the Last Dragon. <clears throat> So I'm I'm gonna assume that you're gonna have a dragon. Yeah, we gotta start with the dragon, I think. So you're so. you're starting with the dragon, not gotta... not with uh, your interpretation of Raya. Yeah, or Raya. Yeah, we're gonna is it Raya or Raya? Good question. Be sure it's Raya. That sounds right. I think I think if it was like a Latin word, it'd be Raya. But I don't think that was a Latin based movie. Now my my dragon starts like. So many other dragons before him, with a couple of S's. Everybody knows that if you're going to draw a dragon, there's really only a couple ways to do it. And the best way, of course, is by using two S's. Now, my S's are very lumpy and don't quite go together right. It's something I would definitely fix if I could erase, but alas, I cannot. Now, let's see here. Get this dragon's... Give my nose. Nah. Mouth. Oh, gosh. This is not going to look like I'm planning on. Some of you may recognize this dragon. Or I'm doing such a bad job <laughs> that even if yeah. you would recognize this dragon, you might not. But, uh, you know. Gotta have my... Gotta have a dragon. Yeah, if you put some consummate bees in there, then uh, then oh, yeah. people might recognize it. Can't them. forget the consummate bees. First, I've got to give them some some chompers. There we go. See, it already looks like a dragon or just a really disturbing snake, one of the two. But the thing that will set it apart is, of course, consummate bees. Give them some texture. Mm -hmm. Texture is the way to go. Yeah, you don't want to. But too many because no, that's that would take too long. I've I've done that before where I tried to scale an entire dragon. Um, yeah, we'd be here all day. Yep, those are definitely the longest drawings I've ever made. Let's see here. I'm gonna continue on to some wings here, but uh, I gotta say, what do you think of the movie? Uh, I mean, it was pretty good. It was definitely the best uh, version of Last Airbender I've ever seen. You mean like the best movie version, right? Yes, yeah. Not, it wasn't better than the cartoon. No, but it was definitely the best movie version I've seen of Avatar The Last Airbender yet. If you don't know what we're talking about, first thing, stop our video, go over to Netflix and watch the entire show, Avatar The Last Airbender. Mm -hmm. But do not, by any means go and watch the live action movie that went along with it. Yeah, no, that was that was a terrible movie. I don't I don't even want to talk about it. It doesn't deserve it for <clears throat> our time or anybody's. And if you haven't seen Raya uh the the Last Dragon and the Last Dragon, you may want to watch that because we will talk about it here and um don't know if we'll give away any spoilers, but we might, so I mean basically if you watch Avatar and the Last Airbender, you already know the entire story. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is pretty much the same as that. A few, few different character changes, and uh, some characters kind of played two, two roles. But, yeah, like Raya, for example. Who was Raya in this movie? Uh, I mean, she was basically both Katara and Sokka at at different moments, but mostly she was Katara, you know, who found the last Airbender. Who ended up being able to get the powers of all the the elements as they traveled from one land to another, gathering a new power at each place. You know, mm -hmm. no, like exactly the plot like of it was. Yep. Last Airbender. 
not only that, when the avatar, or in this case the dragon, goes into the avatar state, starts glowing, and, mm -hmm. you know. But. Yeah, it, it got to the point where we were able to predict certain things that would happen in the movie because of our knowledge of The Last Airbender. Like, uh, th this, one, this one is a little bit of a spoiler here, um, but towards the <clears throat> end of the movie, when they were going uh, to confront, we guessed that while the dragon was glowing, they would she would be shot by a betrayal because that happened in the last airbender and um that 100 percent happened exactly the way we expected it to um yeah no it like, it was uncanny how much we were like if was, they do this it'll be just mm -hmm. like avatar there, the last Airbender. there was and even it the, there was even the uh zuko type character who like whole plan was to like hunt them down uh, and then, and then kind of helped them and then betrayed them and then helped them in the end. Like there's just too many similarities. Um, but it was a good movie. All the characters are very likable. I mean, of course it was a good movie. It was literally the same thing mm -hmm. as Avatar The Last Airbender, arguably the yeah. best show ever made. Yeah. And Not even arguably. It is the best show ever made, hands down. Yeah, it was it was a great show. Um, yeah, and I mean, this told the story, like we said, better than the movie that was meant to tell the story. Yep, no, hundred percent. So I've got a pretty good looking dragon over here. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just call him uh, Trog, Dor the Last Dragon. <laughs> uh yes. I was going to do something oh, clever with the name, but, you know, we'll just keep it the same. Nobody, Nobody's going to look at that and think of anything else. But Trogdor here has got himself into a little bit of relationship trouble, as all dragons tend to. But, uh, you know, I'm going to go with hands today that are just so darn simple. You got to love... Ch chicka feet? <laughs> yep. You got to love hands like this. So, just kind of... Put their other hand down here and see it seems like you've been watching some strong pad this is looking a lot like the teen girl squad uh, well you know i mean i wouldn't say that i'm copying that i'm just drawing a generic looking girl and a generic looking dragon and uh you know mm -hmm. i mean maybe you wouldn't say you're copying shout out to homestar runner for the inspiration and literal character design for my drawing today but uh i highly doubt i'll actually be able to execute it as well Pretty sure she has like hair that like doesn't actually go up on her head, which I kind of approve of, because then you just kind of go like, oh gosh, give her like an afro. Yeah. See, the thing is, yeah, he has like, hair, right? Oh, I, it's, but, uh, the, I don't know why it's so poofy. The, the creator of Homestar Runner is good enough at art that he can make a bad drawing look like on purpose bad. Yeah, like, this is the limit of my skill. Not, like, some joke. <clears throat> yeah, and and it doesn't even look as good as... It, like, his drawing, like... <laughs> it's supposed to look like it was drawn by a kid, or whatever. But, like, all the lines are straight and, per you know, round. Like, they're, they're like, well... Well done. We're not, we're not at that level of skill. Definitely, definitely not. Right now, I'm just adding some background, uh, you know, village type background stuff. We've got a, a well here. Got to know where we are. Yeah, we're in a village. Does that look like it's made of bricks? No. Okay. No, good. I was I was thinking like a grate, like a like a sewage, or a, you know, you know, like a grate for water. I got oh, to, oh, I see. It's a well. Yeah, I got to the point of drawing this, and I was like, how is the well standing up? So I have to draw <laughs> some supports to make it, you know, not defy physics. Now I can tell it's a well. Yeah, well. And over here we'll have a little little shack in the distance. I know it's in the distance because it's too small. Otherwise, give it a nice thatched roof. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing how much a thatch group kind of just looks like I'm drawing hair all over the top of it. I mean, what's the difference of hay and hair? Mm. With a ballpoint pen, almost nothing. A bit of window. Nope, two windows. Now it kind of looks like the house is just a person with yeah. the square head. This is a sad <laughs> robot. Screaming or crying. Speaking of crying, there's a reason I saved the eyebrows for last year. Because, you know, they're having this conversation here. We'll just call this girl Raya. We'll call this Trogdor the last uh, <laughs> the last dragon here. And uh, I give Trogdor normally has like an angry expression. But today, his eyebrows are going a little bit down. Bit, what's that? What's that? Is that a, a tear? A tear forming in Trogdor's eye? What could possibly cause the Burninator to be so sad? Well, this is where dialogue comes in. I don't. I don't know if uh, if Strombad would approve of this uh, fan fiction that you're you're drawing here. Uh, you know, <laughs> probably not. But we'll have a little relationship problem here. <laughs> Last dragon on Earth. Just so <clears throat> angry with her words. Not realizing that Trogdor, like all dragons, have feelings. <laughs> so many feelings. Mm hmm. And then, you know, he's tearing up over here. I am. There we go. Mm. Should I go for like a. I see, see you went for uh, a little pun there. Yeah, yeah. Just Raya and the Last Dragon, <laughs> mm -hmm. literally turning him down for a date. He's just gonna go have to work out his one beefy arm somewhere, <laughs> all alone. But uh, I could go. I was thinking of adding a son or adding, you know, some perspective well, back around. Pun, but you have to add shadow. The problem I was thinking, I really don't want to have to spend <laughs> the next twenty-five minutes shadowing everything in this drawing. So we'll just leave it at this. Raya and the Last Dragon, just like the movie. If you haven't seen the movie yet, I suggest going and watching Avatar The Last Airbender first so you can understand what we're actually talking about and how much it really is just the same plot. But, <clears throat> just know it has absolutely nothing to do with my drawing. Yep. Uh, if this drawing in any way makes you not want to watch that movie, just... Watch the movie, and and yeah, it was a good show. movie. Like, it was a good movie. This, Avatar: The Last Airbender. It's was much. Better. It's much better than this drawing. That's for sure. Just get my name and age on here. Make it an official piece of art, and uh, and then we I can think we we'll it over to you. Yeah, we can see what I draw. I just want to point out that I used the drawing glove the entire time, and I figure I'll offer it to you again just in case you want to up your game. Uh, maybe one day. I'll get a drawing glove built for large hands, but it just restricts me. Yeah, uh, it doesn't help that you're just a giant. Well, maybe people should make giant gloves. So it's especially annoying with like construction gloves. Like you would think, oh, big burly man do construction, right? You would think that if you bought an extra large glove, it would be for actual extra large hands, but it's like, they're tiny. <laughs> They're like maybe an extra large female hand. I'll just hang on to mine then. I think it looks stylish. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to take a different uh, route with this um, than what you did, of course. So I'm going to start uh, with uh, Raya here. Um, you know, she has a head, <laughs> as ah. most people do. Um, and uh, she has hair, which, uh, you know, is this just... Is, this is riveting stuff. Oh, yeah, I see you're taking the same approach I did, where you draw the hair after the head. Yep. 
give it the illusion that it's resting on top. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, see, I'm just not good at drawing. <laughs> you don't say. So, oh. I'm gonna, <laughs> oh, boy. I'm gonna do this very differently because you see, uh, I'm going to go off of, because as I uh, said before, if we were pronouncing this uh, Raya, the, the Latin way, it would be Rhea, which means queen in Latin. Of course it does. Uh, you know, like how Ray means king. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, Rhea is just a uh, queen. Study up on my Latin for our drawing next week. Yeah, so here's the here's the hand with the exact number of fingers that humans have. You know, I'm impressed you went for fingers at all. Yeah. I, I didn't have that. Uh, and then so, so she's going to have a big poofy dress as queens do. Ah, like Princess Peach. Yeah, and then the princess uh, over here, Rhea. she's going to, she has a crazy long arm. <laughs> oh, it's got, and, a, it's got a big bump in the middle. Yeah, just... The buff, buff Princess Rhea, um, <laughs> like, nice. like Popeye's version of Oh, buff, okay. That, yeah, where it's just, like, concentrated in one spot. Yep. She's pointing. Alright. I'm gonna let you continue with that. I, I started to explain this, but I feel like I really need to break it down for everybody watching just how much this movie, Raya the Last Dragon, and Avatar the Last Airbender are just the same thing with different names so if you've never seen avatar the last airbender like i said you really need to go see it but if you've never seen it i'll give you the spoiler free breakdown it's all about a couple of uh, kids brother and sister who find the avatar frozen and nice he's like the, the the savior of the world type he's got all the powers to save the world now his name's ang and he's been frozen in ice for a hundred years while the four nations the Fire Nation, Earth Kingdom, Water Tribes, and the Air Nomads went to war, and the Fire Nation's kind of taking over, all right? So they find him frozen in ice with his big fluffy sky bison, and they go on a journey across the four nations, gathering new powers, meeting new friends to eventually defeat the evil Fire Nation, all the while being pursued by the Fire Nation prince and princess, and it's a great show, but seriously... Raya and the Last Dragon is just the same. I'm just going to ignore the fact that that is a very flat, long neck dragon you're drawing there. So Raya and the Last Dragon, let me just break this down. So Raya is like the sister, Katara. She is uh, not happy with the war, but she goes through some turmoil. Her father is separated from her in a certain way. He gets turned to stone, unlike going off to war. But he gets separated from her, so she goes on this journey, and she eventually finds the Avatar. I mean, the last dragon, right? Now, the last dragon, Sisu, is kind of like Aang. Sisu's been trapped away for a hundred years, wakes up, can't believe that the four nations of the world are warring, is sad because all of her people have died, and she is the last one of her kind, just like an Avatar the Last Airbender. Now, they are pursued by... Namari, who is the same as Princess Azula in Avatar The Last Airbender. She kind of has a grudge. She's kind of cruel. She's kind of like Azula mixed with Zuko. I'd probably say a little bit more like Zuko, but she's got some parts of her that are kind of these two characters put together. She pursues them across the nations, trying to capture the last dragon to bring her back to her people, kind of to get back her honor that she lost when she didn't capture the dragon the first time long ago, right? Now, Raya, just like Aang, just like everybody else, has this big creature that she rides on. She has Tuk Tuk. Now, Aang and his group, they have Appa. But again, big mythical creature used for traveling across the nations. On their travels, they meet Khan Baby. I don't know if Khan Baby actually had a name. Did Khan Baby actually have a name? I think they gave it a name by the end. And you were telling me, who's Khan Baby like? Uh, Khan Baby is like Momo because she has like a bunch of monkeys and she can't talk, but she's really good at 
like stealing things and like practically like a ninja. Yeah, seriously. We were watching that. We were like, you know what? She has four monkeys. There's monkeys that go with her. They're quick. They are just like Momo. Then eventually on the journey, all right, so they've got Momo, we've got Appa, we've got Aang, Katara, we've got Zuko slash Azula. They meet a big, tough character. Now, in this case, an airbender, they met a tough character, not very big, but very, very tough, named Toph. Now, it just so happens that in this movie we have Tong, who they meet, who's very, very tough on the outside, but we eventually learn is not quite as tough as we thought. And Tong joins their group in one of the nations as they continue on their journey. I thought it was hilarious that we were like, Tong's not blind, but if you watch carefully, Tong is half blind, has an eye patch over one eye, kind of like Toph, who was completely blind in Airbender. Then we have Benja, that was Raya's dad, I think, just like Katara and Sokka's dad. Not in most of the show because of something that happened during the war. And then we meet Boon. Boon is just like Sokka. He's the sarcastic, the funny one. He's obsessed with food. He's the guy who comes up with the plan. I mean, seriously, we could not be making this up any more clearly. If you've ever seen the two, drop us a comment and just tell us if you think we're onto something here with how similar these are. It all has to do with them going to the war. There's a war between the four nations. They find the savior of the world trapped for a hundred years. They have to go from nation to nation, and in each nation, Sisu, I mean Aang, has to gain a new power that helps them on their journey to eventually go and fight the evil Fire Nation, or in this case, go and fight the final tribe, which was, I think, Fang, right? Mm -hmm. Seriously. Go check out both Avatar The Last Airbender and Raya The Last Dragon and tell us just how much they are the same. <clears throat> it is uncanny. This guy's at a weird angle and has one tiny foot. I was just saying, I think we have to get back to your drawing now. I've been talking mm -hmm. so much about how much these are the same, but seriously, nobody else we've talked to. What is that? Um, tell me what's going on here. We've got Raya, who clearly has no face other than two eyes. Yep. I guess I could give her one buff arm. No, no, I thought it was all part of your plan here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost creepier than when she didn't have a mouth mm -hmm. at all. Okay, now I'm going to do something here that I try to avoid, as you guys know from my titles and names. But as bad as I am at drawing, I'm even worse at writing. <clears throat> but these guys got to say some words. I mean, we need some context here of what is actually going on yep uh let's see we ryan kind of looks like a muppet now that you just gave her a smile and no like distinguishing features on her face we found last i'm getting the feeling this is not going to be quite as romance oriented as my drawing was no we found the last dragon see i can read that yeah then again i, I, mean, tried, I tried pretty hard apparently if you push the button on this pen it uh it makes a mark that's too bad because even the marks we're trying to make are hard enough oh snap <laughs> uh, yep no nope, definitely romance is not in the air with your drawing I used the wrong it. He did it. use the wrong it's. Oh, oh no, leave it. Leave it. <laughs> there's no there's no going back here. Well It matches your first grade handwriting. It's like, you know, if a first grader drew this and then wrote the words, they I just I just had it. to not do an apostrophe. Oh, that's all that's all it would have taken. See, this is where people with pencils and erasers and who don't have rules for their <clears> drawings <throat> would be able to fix it, but not us. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty simple drawing, basically. Um, you know, you got the, the queen here, right, Rhea, you know. Uh, yep. And uh, they found Last Dragon, and she's saying, get rid of it. We, we don't want no dragons here. Mm -hmm. I thought we said Rhea and the Last Dragon, not Rhea and the Last Giant Eel. Well, I could draw. I could, I could make it more, more obvious it's a dragon. 
have a, I am very curious. I have, I have like a the win. Oh gosh, what, what have I done? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Now I'm just really impressed with that guard down there that somehow lassoed and is containing this oh, dragon. Yeah. I mean, this guy, <laughs> like, like, you can't really tell, but see, this this is his arm. Like, oh, he's, he's, he's a buff guy. Pretty buff. Like, he's much better than this guy who clearly, when he works out, only works out one leg. <laughs> yeah. And is then dancing up to Queen Raya. He's supposed to be like kneeling. I should draw. <laughs> See, usually when you're kneeling, you put a knee down, not one knee up. Let me let me draw like <laughs> this is this is gonna make it worse. Uh, I, I acknowledge <laughs> this. There's really not much you can do to make something better when you're just using pen. But... Um, so I'm gonna, but these these are like stairs. Oh, so he's like on the he's stairs. He's scaling the stairs. Like exactly. On his hands and knees, crawling up to her. Yeah, she doesn't let people be taller than her. <laughs> and he's taller than her. So now you've taken Raya and made her just terrifying. So because he's taller than her, as he approaches the stairs, he has to kneel or else he will... Um, there's something so eerie about her. She's not even looking at them when she says this. She's, like, looking off into the distance. Okay, no. You know, I was going to make fun of the stairs, but I'm actually... I'm actually seeing what you were getting at here. Now it legitimately looks like he's climbing the stairs. I mean, calling those stairs is kind of a stretch, but... I'm not saying I could do any better. Wow. That yeah, fixed so, I mean, everything. Those, those are like stairs. No, I think, all that, I think all that's left now is here. And, well, I mean, now I kind of have to make this be like a throne behind uh, her. Yeah. Because that line makes it very clear. Now, um, you know, it's just... There we go. <laughs> it's just... Everything in our drawings has such squiggly lines, I'm realizing. Like, making a straight line is very difficult yeah especially like when you're using like i'm not used to using like a uh, electronic like pen thing yeah like it's a little bit easier when you actually are using like a real piece of paper you know i do have to say that i think you improved it this guy's yeah. not just dancing his day away now yeah, I mean, you gotta. I don't know exactly how these uh, stairs like. Oh, the see, you. I think you get the point where it's like the more you start adding here. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to give this room like dimensions. Oh to man, it. that's impressive. Um, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I doesn't can't, take much to impress me with a drawing. I can't make it any better than this. It's this still, is this is my. It's limit. still horrifying and doesn't match well, the movie whatsoever i so. mean i meant for it to be horrifying mm. that was on purpose i think all that's left is uh, your title yeah like just stop while you're ahead if we can in, in, my, in my head i'm just maybe not that behind but i think i think you might be right raya and the last dragon aka avatar the last airbender check him out and uh yeah i don't i'll just put my I don't think I've ever seen two plots that I just thought were so similar. They have to have done it on purpose. Revenge, age. You are 28. 28. Nothing's changed yet. Not yet. All right. Well, I guess that wraps it up for us today, everybody. Go check out those two shows, and uh, we will see you next time. Yep. As always, we're surprised you made it this far into our video. There's no way we could possibly ask you to subscribe to this atrocity, so we won't. We would say share it with your friends, but it's probably better for wasting your enemy's time. We're probably not going to get any better, but we will keep drawing. See you next time.